Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a test of the roof. Um, I put a new uh, power distribution system on the top of the scope. So um, that was one of yesterday's projects. We've got over here one of the electric eyes. And we've got over here the other electric eye. Um, which when the beam is broken will stop the roof from opening. Which is a, a good thing since we're across from each other. And if the scope's in the way, for some reason, if it's not put away, it'll keep the roof from closing on it. So, anyway, let's come back here and turn on the little light. There's a garage door opener right there. I made it upside down. Uh, I got a pair of boards that it's mounted to, which are mounted here, to, so I could get it level. Got all your wiring done and tied up. Um, got the button here. So what we're going to do is just push the button and you'll watch how fast this comes back. Um, ready. Okay. Also notice how quiet it is. And it stops right there. Right where it's programmed to stop. It turns on the red light inside. Um, so you can see a little bit of this red light. Now that we've got plenty of light in here. Um, and there you go. If I uh, go to close it and stick my hand in the way, um, the beam is interrupted and it will automatically reverse itself and go back so it won't try to close the roof if the scope hasn't finished imaging or if it hasn't moved itself into its parking position. So anyway, that's the that's how I got it mounted. You can see it kind of goes all the way up there. And the nice thing is, is it's out of the way of the scope. It's far enough over where the scope's not going to hit it, but it's all indoors. Um, so I put all the wires in for the weather station up along here today. Um, or actually, I did that yesterday. And if you come out here, here's the weather station mounted. And down here, I put the anometer. And I think I'm going to have to drop it a little bit lower because when the roof is closed, it's very, very close. Uh, to the edge uh, down there of the drip rail. It's probably about a quarter inch away. And the roof can shift a little bit back and forth, so I'm going to probably get a little bit of the slack and drop it down to somewhere in this area so that little tail uh, won't accidentally hit it. Um, that's all of my projects today. And finally, after me talking about it almost every day, I'm getting ready to go up and cut the piece of trim but right up there. So finally the trim will be done. And I'm kind of running out of things to think of until I move the the uh, PC from over here to back behind the wall. Back over there. But now we may as well close the roof so everybody can see how the roof closes. And push the button. And I'm going to go ahead and interrupt it, I think, uh, this first time. Can watch the roof take off. There it goes. It's closing, and I'm going to run my hand across the beam, and it stops and pulls the roof back. So if the scope is not closed yet, we'll do exactly what it's supposed to do and not shut the roof. But under normal circumstances, when the roof when the scope's away, the trolley will run the roof down there. Makes a couple of little hiccups there as it shifts through the extensions, and the roof is closed. So it's a pretty cool deal, and really, really starting to run out of stuff to do. I want to get a little bit of something to try to pick up the edges over there. Um, it's also dragging a little bit on one side, not this side, uh, but the other. Need to trim that back a little bit so it rolls a little smoother and. Uh, other than that, it's ready to be bring the computer back here in the back and, and automate it. So that's a report for this week. Got a lot done this weekend. Very productive. Um, thanks for any comments. Bye.